when it comes to running lines, my number one priority is speed and agility for any fly-off. If you can have that five meters of explosive speed and power, it will, it will take your game to another level. You've got to train how to vary your depth and your speed when you take the ball to the line based on the space. From set piece, you can go really hard. In phase play, you must vary your speed. Uh, let the defensive line come to you and then you can make your play depending on the momentum and the speed of the ruck ball. And when the space is then out wide, you want minimum time with the ball in your hand to create more time and space for the players on the outside. So we'll be looking into a few basic running lines. It's not all of them. We'll touch on these five. Square on, a square to in, a square to out, square to wide, and then a backdoor running line option. So square on means that you, you start running before you get the ball. Once you receive the ball, you fetch the ball, you reach for the ball, you get the ball because when you reach for the ball, it will pull your hips square. Hip square means that your hips are facing forward towards the touch line. Now you can take it to the gain line, you can make the defense come to you, vary your speed and space and then make the play. Look at bottom bad here, hip square facing towards the goal line, making the short pass into space. Again, look at him realigning running an arc, creating depth for himself, short pass into space. Again, if we look at Farrell here, getting the ball, hips facing towards the goal line, he's there's runners, he just needs to make the correct decision, he takes it to the line, and he plays a flat pass to a runner. Square to in is where you get the ball square on, and then you work to the inside defender. So you're getting the ball at 12 o'clock, and now you're actually working here to 10 to 12, uh, to the inside. There's space available. Uh, you've got an inside runner as well. Very difficult for defense to pick you up. They didn't mark you. You're working to the inside of them. They normally think that the inside man's got you, and then that's the space that you're attacking. Same from the line-out. You're working to that space where the line-out back of the defense are connecting with the back line. So square on and then working inside, 10-2, the 10-2 line. And, and that's the space that opens up. Square to out is where you take it hard, square on, and then you work out. So you're almost targeting the second defender. So you'll see Pollard here running hard onto the ball and then working away towards the second defender. Uh, Barrett here as well, hard square on, working out and then beating his, his, his opponent with his pace and running ability, agility. From the line on as well, taking it flat to the line and then working towards the outside. Rugby league example, you'll see the first receiver here working towards that second man, making him stick. And then you can play the short option with the runner coming into space. So square wide. It was communicated via the outside backs that there's space out wide, you want to shift the ball quickly. So you need to stay square as well, you don't want to drift out wide or stand still. You want to stay square, two, three steps and then the ball must go quickly through your hands. You'll see Finn Russell here as well, he gets the ball, it's one, two steps square on and the ball goes. Uh, you, you want less time with ball in hand because you want to move the ball to space um, and have give your attackers out wide time and space with the ball in hand. Most important fact here is just to be connected to this pod and to ball carrier. So be aligned to the inside of his hip and then move into space. And then you've got to make a decision, are you the playmaker or are you attacking the gain line? You can see here the player here identified the space there and he attacks the space. It's very difficult for any defender to, to pick up somebody running in that second line of attack. Uh, and that's why this option for fly-offs is a really good attacking option as well. Richie Muhanga here as well. It's difficult to pick him up as a defender. And he uses his speed, explosive power to, to go through the gap and score a good try.